In Myanmar, 70% of the population relies on agriculture, often for subsistence livelihoods. The time and labor required to water crops are a big challenge for every farmer. Farmers who want to increase production often seek inputs like fertilizers and pesticides, not realizing there may be natural alternatives. Farmers also often buy seeds, losing the custom of saving seeds and local plant varieties. When farmers have extra money, they may invest by buying livestock, perhaps a chicken, pig, or a cow. Costs may cause farmers to seek loans. Banks rarely make loans small enough for farmers, so they may borrow informally. But a poor crop due to weather conditions or changing market prices can leave them in debt. Sickness among their animals can eliminate their savings. An accident or the death of a family member may be costly and reduce available labor. Extreme weather or natural disaster may wipe out everything in an instant. There are many ways for small problems to grow into an overwhelming burden, growing heavier over time. For smallholder farmers, investments that improve technology and techniques and provide the financial credit to access them can have a profound social impact. Da Tui Yin lost her husband five years ago. Being a single mother with four kids and taking care of the farm by herself was no easy task. She had no time to grow more than a few plants for her own use. One day she heard about some irrigation products which could save her time and labor and decided to try one. Today, Da Tui Yin has doubled her production of beetle and has free time for herself. She uses it to volunteer, teach the Karen language to local kids and sing at ceremonies, one of her biggest hobbies. <laughs> When it comes to products, farmers don't have spare cash to fix or replace tools, which are easily broken. Inputs and products also have to be affordable. The best farming product available will be useless if no one can afford to buy it. One not-for-profit social enterprise operating in Myanmar has focused on smallholder farmers. Proximity Designs produces irrigation tools and sells solar lamps. When farmers cannot afford their products, Proximity Designs provides microcredit financial services. Farmer advisory services are also available, from training on pest control and diagnosing crop diseases to helping farmers reduce, adjust, and replace the use of chemicals. So tomorrow the product that the load in Myanmar, the primal zone in tomorrow trip trip, no, can you do it? Do I just no down to Rene? Do I pure? Hello, pure. Chain ma, tomorrow Barry Savi Twila, the true Lu Achadi Satwila, the true Akakari Twila. Are you Akakari Lu Achadi? Are you Bori Yalare? Are you Boma Chief? I'm your tomorrow the for tomorrow idea for no Savi. Idea generation sal lo de. Jono dua di ma lo lo ara ho laza dua jono lo lo dam ho laza ho te di ga matau. Di ga ro jono laza po man ya de. Dah me di ga jono ru lo lo de design mo no lo lo de design ha di down tu di ho aku ni pide so jono ru ya di pide ra ni ayi ho pide. Nau jono ru ha di impact ho ni ayi dah dah pide tu. Di impact ho no belau di aju da yang pun di si la. So ada ho pian di ya si ni jono ru ya wan dam ho tu kuwe pide. Da Kin Wei and U Shui Lin have seven daughters. The youngest was able to go to university thanks to farming tools and services that enabled an increase in agricultural production. Reducing poverty requires understanding what makes people poor and what keeps them poor. 
Instead of ignoring smallholder farmers as too small to matter, investments in agriculture can treat farmers like customers who together are part of an untapped market. Innovating beyond large agribusiness and plantations to focus on smallholders can help to break down the poverty cycle and bring true social transformation. <laughs> Hãy subscribe cho